Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I am so excited for today's video because it has been so long I since know. I got to film with my best friend, <laughs> Dr. Stephanie Cappell is here with so us today. Fun. So fun. We get to talk skincare with you guys today because honestly, in our daily lives- Which we do all the time. We talk anyway, skincare with each other. just gonna film it. <laughs> we, we text each other at like midnight talking skincare. All the time. <laughs> so I am so excited because we are here to talk skincare with you guys today. And even more exciting is her new skincare line, MDA. Hey. which I am so excited to bring on to Skin Truth, which is now gonna be available. And she's here to talk all about it because she's the formulator yes. of this skincare. Like this yes. is not skincare, she just white labeled mm -hmm. and did all that. Like she right. formulated this, yes. so. So it's super exciting and thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's really exciting because um, just from the time I was still in dermatology residency, I always knew that I wanted to formulate a skin line because I feel like, you know, you know exactly what the skin needs, how to get it there, how to stabilize it and just keeping up with technology in the rapidly advancing field is something that has always been a passion of mine so to be able to formulate this has been my passion project for a long time and we finally have it perfected and you know uh, I go through all of the analytics and the testing and the assays and this trichome stains and just everything so I wanted it to be perfect so it's just so exciting to share it with it's you so and have it for us I and know. for you guys and and I think that's what's yeah. so cool too is I mean you and me, we both, like, we get to try so many different right. skincare products, and we love certain things from each yeah. brand or this and that, and then you come to, like, you're like, I want to put, like, them all together, like, yes. all your favorites, and that's kind of, yes. like, what you did. Especially, yeah, especially because, like, you and I both, I think, you know, if you follow us, you see we have a pretty elaborate morning and night routine, and, you know, with these four products, you can use them morning and night, and they're engineered in such a way that you can do that, whereas back in the day, without that engineering, you couldn't maybe use one during the day or, or night. Yeah. Or, you know, it's just um, with limiting, and then also to be integrated with other products, I think, is important, too. So um, that's why I wanted to formulate this, an easy routine where all four products would have every everything covered and you can use it morning and night. Mm -hmm. And I love that you can use them like all together. You can right. mix and match them with other right. things or brands and they all just, they work really yes. well together. And yes. as you guys know, I only bring on products and brands to Skin Truth that are amazing. Like I don't just carry any old brand. Mm -hmm. Like I have to try it out myself. It has to be the best science, the best technology and give the best results. So just because Steph is my best friend, yes. doesn't <laughs> that's not why I brought the no. brand on. Like her brand is truly next level level right. like the technology and the science behind it is like above right right so and, and that's why and i wanted brianna to try them and i didn't let many people try them and i wanted brianna to yeah try them, i tried I said, them like a while ago right, and i yeah she was one of the first and i said i really wanted and i knew that she would give me you know her honest opinion and like i wouldn't want her to carry it or you know have it available or market something like me you know we don't want to we can't without the passion behind it you can't really recommend it and if you yeah. don't use it yourself and love it yeah so it was important for me too to make sure that she loved it and she you know she was using it and yeah. was excited about it as yeah. i am so and and I am we're excited about you will guys will see very results. Passionate about what we do. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, we really are. When it yeah, comes our to skin, in it. our hearts in it all in. Yes. <laughs> so sure. let's talk about the four products right. and we'll go through each okay. one. Let's yeah. start with the vitamin so C. So the vitamin C. So I think Brianna and I are both obsessed with vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C is just such an amazing active ingredient, not only for its antioxidant capability, but just for everything that it does for skin health, for cellular renewal, for collagen stimulation, for brightening without you know the risks of other brighteners like hydroquinone for evening out texture and tone, for acne, for anti-aging, all the things. So the most difficult, and you probably understand this too, the most difficult problem with um, vitamin C is the formulation. It's really important to have it stabilized and to have it have a vehicle delivery system that keeps it intact and bioavailable and active. So the problem I think with most vitamin C formulations is that um, either it sits on the surface of the skin or it can get oxidized in the dispenser or it gets to the place where it needs to go, but by the time it gets there, it's inactive. So it's really important to create a formulation where it can stay active until it needs to get to where it has to have the effect and then remains effective without having you know irritation and sensitization and things like that so I always say it's like putting an astronaut into outer space in the in you know in the space capsule but then the space capsule can't open like yeah. what is it gonna do if you can't get there so I put a lot of you know thought and time and um, just testing and retesting and analytics to try to get a vehicle delivery system that enables it to pass through the epidermis 
into the dermis and remain stable and bioavailable. And if you used it, which you've used it, mm -hmm. you know, yes. it, it, it gets rapidly absorbed, which you can tell just from, you know, seconds of use that it really gets absorbed. Yeah. And it's not just sitting on the skin. Because unfortunately, you know, some, you know, vitamin C formulations are pretty expensive and they're just basically sitting on the surface of the skin and they're not doing anything. Yeah. And sometimes that's why they can be irritating because they're just sitting on the surface of the skin. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So what are, what's the ingredients and yeah. the types of oh, vitamin C I, that you use? This part. Okay, Me too. So, okay, I know. <laughs> so put your seatbelt on. All right. So it has all four forms of vitamin C. And so it has the L-ascorbic acid, 15%, and, you know, which, we, we, which is the ma probably much the maximum that you can have without having diminishing returns. And so 15% L-ascorbic acid, which is the most important, that's most, the most powerful important. vitamin right. C, you know, available for skin and skin health. Um, it has a THD also, and it has a three glycerol or a three glycerol ascorbate, and it has the magnesium glycerol ascorbate. Right. Okay. Or, yeah. So it has the MAP, the three GA, yep. and it has the um, tetradecyl hexyl ascorbic <laughs> and the L ascorbic acid, fifteen percent. Yeah. So it's all you know microencapsulated in a formula, and it also has you know kojic acid and ferulic acid because they've done a lot of studies and they've shown that augmentation of the effects of vitamin C are propagated and augmented when they're mixed with vitamin C and ferulic acid mm -hmm. too. And then it also has nanoliposomal resveratrol, which is a really great you know that's, brightener as well. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah. So that's what's so great. So it has many forms of the vitamin C, which yeah. not many like products out there right. You'd be for vitamin C. Yeah, they don't be, have yeah. like more than like one form of vitamin C, you know? Right, so right. it's so cool that you kind of combined a couple definitely. of the different ones and yeah, put them together. The most effective ones. Yeah, yeah I definitely. love that. And that they remain active. That's so important. Because yeah. It's just, you know, it's just a waste of time. Well, talk money. about talk about the, the vehicle yeah. and the delivery yeah. system behind it. So the vehicle delivery system, and the reason why I'm it's just myself and a scientist who I'm working with, and the scientist that I'm I'm engineering this with, I basically hand selected after interviewing many, many people who worked for pharma and bio, biotech. So he actually was working for pharmaceutical companies for um, musculoskeletal um, topicals and um, topical chemotherapy, where drug delivery and stabilization is everything. He's actually never worked in the skincare industry but that skill set and that you know that um, scientific you know skill set is so important in our industry and yeah. he uses never been used before a vehicle delivery system where I mean we can't talk about it too much but yeah. you know I mean it's 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 micro encapsulated in such a way I mean he's like spinning electrons and uses like electrophysics and also these vehicle delivery systems which in assays you can see them just like passing through and staying stable so it's actually the first time that this technology has been used in the skincare industry which I'm all about which is amazing and that's what you know protects right. the integrity of the is it a, is it liposome like yes, liposomal, liposomal right yes, which is, yes. I always tell everybody I'm like that is like the best form yeah. of a delivery system yeah definitely yeah because it keeps it there it passes through the cells and then it's just almost like when it gets to the delivery it's like an envelope it opens up to where mm -hmm. it needs to be active so, right yeah, exactly it's really important and then you know it's in an airtight um, chamber which it maintains the integrity of the product it stays so stable it's and upper. it's yeah being yeah. oxidized so you don't have to worry about that I too. love that yeah, the vitamin C is yeah. bomb your skin will it's glow amazing. it doesn't leave like a sticky you feel like some vitamin C's yeah, can, yes, you know? Yeah. It just feels really, really nice on the skin. Yeah. It's easy to layer with other products, yeah. all and that. it doesn't like pill under makeup no, or sunscreen yeah. or other products. And a lot of my patients who couldn't tolerate other vitamin C's, like if they break out or other, you know, formulations, they actually were able to tolerate Tailor this pretty one. well. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, it's safe during pregnancy and breastfeeding right. where, you know, melasma and acne can kind of, you know, rev up a little bit and it's safe for pregnancy and breastfeeding, which makes right. it nice too. Right. Yeah. It's a great, honestly, like yeah. amazing yeah. form of vitamin C. I love the technology yeah. and the formulation that you made with good, that good. so so good, good. I'm so excited. so I know okay. you, everyone will love that one yes and then let's talk about this one this oh, one is yes. so okay. good I know so, yeah the NMF hydrator okay so NMF stands for natural they all have very scientific even AMD is a scientific name because it's yeah. the name of a signal transduction pathway in the skin but <laughs> I'm gonna try not to get too scientific and ready but <laughs> no NMF, we love it we love it I know, I know you do <laughs> yeah. we like speak a foreign language yes. but um but the NMF hydrator NMF just stands for the natural moisturization factors in our skin so glycosaminoglycans ceramides all of the things that allow our care sites to hold on to water and it's also packed with anti-aging polypeptides and a lot of them have never been used before a lot of them are ones that we have used before that have stood the test of time and have been engineered to just be more effective yeah. and um, it's really fun to formulate it and blend it
blend it in the proprietary blend where it's going to not only hydrate the skin and like soothe skin with you know with irritation from you know if you're using some type of vitamin A derivative or if you like go skiing in the mountains or you have like dry irritated skin it's a good rescue it's like taking a drink of water for mm -hmm. your skin it helps the skin yeah, it barrier helps hydrates and yeah. it restores that barrier and minimizes trans epidermal water loss so at the same time where it's restoring the barrier it also helps texture and smooth the skin and helps with fine lines and wrinkles too because mm -hmm. of the peptides but right. it's not irritating you right. know, which is really really nice yeah and it's a good yeah adjuvant too like a vitamin c and a vitamin a the peptides and the humectants and the barrier restorative um, active ingredients are really important oh love it and it feels yeah. amazing on your skin yeah, it feels so like good. it's actually like silky and like yeah. so softening to the skin but it's not heavy it's yeah. not thick and it's like so nice yeah and it makes your skin feel hydrated but not greasy and like yeah. you know like midday when you're like oh my skin feels a little dry if you use it morning and night like that's all your need mm -hmm. you know your skin will absorb it and it'll seal in that barrier and just strengthen that yeah barrier. exactly and you guys i mean all of my followers know i'm big yeah. on like skin barrier health yeah. and like always constantly like something that we should be doing every day yeah, is like definitely. putting those ingredients on that restores yeah. the you know a healthy skin barrier and yeah. i love that you have all it's of that so, in there it's so funny yeah. we were able to do like i wanted to do like amino histochemical stains and like see these assays with immunofluorescence to make sure, I mean, like, we're talking at the dermal epidermal junction, looking at the anchoring fibrils, like, the collagen type 7, like, all this stuff, you know, I was all over it. The yeah. more, it was more fun to look at the testing than it yeah. to just actually, like, use the product, but yeah. I can't say enough about it, but I think it's great for people who just need, like, a little bit of, like, more hydration and barrier repair, too. Yeah, so. and honestly, I have yeah. more oily skin, and mm -hmm. it, like I said, it doesn't make me oh, oily, yeah. so I think it's good for dry skin through oily, oily skin. skin. Yeah. Because yeah. so. everyone needs those same ingredients. Definitely. Yeah. And you can use it on, like, the neck and decollete area too yeah. and so for a little added you know tightening effect too which it's is fun amazing yeah. okay what is next oh my gosh i, I know you love this one this is like okay, so favorite. any of you guys know i'm like obsessed you are too with the yes. under eye area okay yeah. so the under eye area is the first to show our age that area is so thin and delicate like the epidermis and dermis and the under eye skin is so delicate and so thin and it doesn't have sebaceous fins and you actually did a great video on this about you know the under eye area it doesn't need retinol it doesn't need vitamin c it can actually be like harmful mm -hmm. to the skin so right the under eye area needs different active ingredients than the skin on the face does. It doesn't have sebaceous glands, it, it can't tolerate a lot of the active ingredients, and it actually needs other active ingredients too, like polypodium leucotomas, topical melatonin, uh, green tea polyphenols, and other, um, other active ingredients that help increase collagen and elastin synthesis without irritation because sometimes I actually just saw a patient last week in my office who was using retinol under her eyes and she had really bad hyperpigmentation oh, from the irritation from the, yeah. from the from the serum so yep. this does not have a retinol and vitamin C in it but it has all the active ingredients that your under eye area needs and that's all that it needs and basically using it morning and night your skin feels hydrated your under eye area you know it doesn't feel too tight and it feels like nice and hydrated and it helps with under eye wrinkles and fine lines puffiness and and the under eye dark circles because of the mm -hmm. niacinamide in it and the green tea polyphenols which are really important in eye serum as well it helps kind of like decrease that underlying vasculature that can give that blue to purple a dark, dark circle. darkness yeah, yeah. darkness so and you can use it on it eyelids up. right yeah and you can use it on your eyelids i right. basically put it on like a pump on the back of my hand and i actually do it with a, a cotton tip applicator yeah i have lash extension so i can't get too close to the yeah. lash margin but i do it with my q-tip and i apply it around my whole eye area yeah it's nice it's super yeah. like again light and hydrating yeah. so it kind of like absorbs really nice yeah. it's really good under like concealer makeup whatever yeah. it doesn't like you yeah. know cake and up love, or anything i love that and i use the color science three and one for, yeah you use that too like, yep. i'll put this on and then i just put that on over it just for you know yeah it's like that's like, that's what i do every single day it's till and it doesn't yeah I yeah love it. so it stays hydrated and it's just basically stimulating that delicate skin to synthesize collagen and elastin because it's the first to lose collagen and elastin even in our 20s so yeah. that's why you start to see the dry wrinkles you yeah know, as early in our 20s and, and some people do think that yeah. they're going to put like retin-a or no, retinol no, no. around their eyes and it can like make your skin make it worse and I see it every day in my office, people coming in for me to laser their hyperpigmentation oh from under the eyes from yeah. the use of those products. So on that note too, you don't want to take these products too up close to the eye. All you need is this one for the, yeah, for exactly. the eye area. Right. Which is yeah, perfect. Which is so perfect. I know you will love that one too. I love it too. And I'm Steph is, like, you know your eye cream's going to yeah, be good because Steph is obsessed, oh, obsessed with like with perfect under eyes. Yes, I, I know. <laughs> That's what's so funny it's is you really can't pretty Botox pretty under the yeah, eye. You, you have can. to like really use good products under your eye because that's like the best. Thing. Mm -hmm. And like I, we always talk about how important it is to do, you know, your skincare routine and use good products at home because, you know, going to the office isn't like a quick fix. It's an augmentation of the products that you're using at home, which are so important. So using an eye serum every day is probably one of the most important, yeah, honestly, it's, like long term. Yeah, that's what I would say. Like what you do daily mm -hmm. is going to make the the most result, right. you know, yeah, and then you definitely. go in and you do your in-office treatments and it just goes hand in hand. But yeah, yeah you can't just fix 
like no. overnight by going in and getting right. like an in office. Yeah. And even doing like a surgery, like I have people that come in and they'll come in from oculoplastics referrals after having a blepharoplasty and like a year later they're right back where they started from right. because if their skin texture, if your skin texture and tone isn't good, it's like we always say as surgeons it's like suturing wet toilet paper oh, versus yeah. suturing cardboard. Like yeah. it's going to maintain and hold those results when you have a lot of collagen and elastin in your extracellular matrix, but if you don't ha it's like it's like suturing like a deflated balloon, it's going to sag again. You know, you got to keep yeah. it's it's really important to upkeep with products and eye serums especially is really really important. That's what's so funny too and we'll talk about it quick because yeah. I'll get a comment like the random comment that says like oh like you do <laughs> Botox like that's like the most important thing for your skin no, and no, I'm no. like it's Botox do doesn't create healthy yeah. skin you know yeah. like it's products that are going to give you healthy Definitely. skin. You can get Botox yeah. and I'm sure you've seen yeah, people for sure. who get Botox but their skin is like yes, your not skin in good shape. Beaten, or they have brown spots and yeah. they have yeah, it's just, even people who come in like I just, I'm not going to take care of my skin I'm just going to get a facelift. Well they have a facelift and they don't have one wrinkle but their skin just like looks aged and weather beaten yeah. and like you know it doesn't and you can't the only way to get healthy skin honestly is by using skincare products religiously photo protection yeah. with sunscreen and then the lasers help too yeah but they all go together yeah you know, exactly really important and i love that yeah. we agree on that i know it's we'll so talk funny. about this in circles <laughs> forever <laughs> we can literally make like hours worth of videos so okay and then her last product is her rn yes, or xr renal yes. yes so okay. let's talk about this but first i'm gonna like preface everyone okay. because everyone knows that I'm a big Renaldehyde fan. Like yeah. everyone knows that. I mean, yeah. and I there's, respect that. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's Definitely. different. There's different ways to get that vitamin A into your skin. Yeah. I mean, Retin A is the most potent, but a lot of people can't, can't tolerate, tolerate Retin A. I hate Retin A. Mm -hmm. It like destroyed my skin. Mm -hmm. Um, so in all reality, like Retinaldehyde and Retinol have been proven right yeah. just as effective Definitely. as. Retin A, mm -hmm. but it's all about like the delivery yes. and the delivery system of the product. There's so many. I mean, retinols yeah. you can get at the drugstore. Oh, yeah. Retinols you can get at Sephora, and there's the, they're mm -hmm. not going to do anything. Yeah, you know, know. And, and even like looking like under the microscope, just for decades, you know, looking at skin under the microscope. I could see the people who were using your CVS brand versus like, you know, prescription like a, strength versus yeah. other like, you know, cosmeceutical medical grade skincare. Yeah. And though you see it under them. I've actually posted it on my story. I don't know if people are interested. I know you'd be interested. But yeah. you can literally see like the collagen is like thick and chunky and pink and like it just is healthy versus patients who use non you know medical grade or without the delivery you mechanisms, can see the there, difference that's when you get the thinning of the skin and just the deleterious like side effects the difference Whereas when you use like medical grade retinol retinol to hide and you know when they're formulated and engineered in a very elegant way it definitely makes a difference yeah yeah for sure so let's talk about yours because yes. like i said i told actually all my followers i said there's two retinol brands mm -hmm. that honestly truly have like the technology and the delivery system behind it and yeah. yours is one of them because yeah. i mean you uh, the formulation and it's the delivery different. is different it's with different. yours yeah and also like and you mentioned this too um retinol retinol to hide retinol and retinoic acid they're all going in conversions back and forth in each other when they're in the skin there's enzymes that are converting it back and forth so the vehicle delivery system and the way it's formulated is everything and we've yeah. talked about that too which yep. is you want to convert it in one and you need to bind to sticky receptors and with a high affinity so it like it's basically like a lock and key and you can keep the enzyme profile going one way or another to ensure that you're getting all of the retinol or all the retinoic acid or all the retinaldehyde whatever it's engineered to do yeah it's just delivery mechanism and the stabilization has everything to do with the with the efficacy of the vitamin a derivative so that's really Yep. important so i know we won't belabor that point anymore we could talk about it for like an hour <laughs> yeah, exactly but the other the, the the engineering in this and the reason why it's called the rxr retinol is the rxr so do you should i get into science? yeah should definitely no nerdy? no we love the nerdy my yeah now. i'm not <laughs> gonna hold exactly. it back i've always my whole life tried to like curb my nerdy in this video I no can, we like, love let it go yes. okay so the um Be free. so yes so when retinoic acid or any retinoic acid derivative binds the receptor it's a heterodimer meaning the receptor has two parts and it's the rar and the rxr receptor and it binds and then it takes the product into the nucleus of the cell and the nucleus is where all the DNA is that's how you literally get you're literally getting transcription and translation and encoding of genes that have downstream effects with like really potent anti-aging effects increasing cellular renewal actually increasing hydration of the skin increasing collagen synthesis increasing elastin synthesis increasing
increasing hyaluronic acid synthesis. So all like all of these downstream effects happen when the retinoic acid derivative, vitamin A derivative, retinaldehyde, or the you know the retin retinol when it's formulated the right way to have all these downstream effects. And what happens is you want to keep it in the nucleus of the cell. That's where inside the cell it's going to have most effect. When it gets outside of the cell, that's when you get a recruitment of inflam inflammatory cells. Mm -hmm. You get irritation. You get sensitization. You get disruption of the barrier. So the key is to keep it microencapsulated in a, a formulation that allows it to get into the nucleus of the cell where it's going to do its work and stay inside the cell where it's going to have the most potent anti-aging effect with least side effect profile yes, of exactly. irritation. And that's where the delivery mechanism comes exactly. in. Exactly. And that's what the formulation does. And that's what's so key because a lot of retinols yeah. can be irritating to the skin yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But yours is not. So yeah. I have tested hers out. Trust yes. me. And it did not irritate my skin. And I'm very big on a healthy skin barrier, sure. not flaky, irritated, all that. Definitely. Yours did not do that. Yay. Yeah. I know. I yes. made it so it doesn't. I've been working on this for a while. <laughs> yes. And it's amazing. Yeah. It's yeah, amazing. Definitely. Like it will help your pores. Yeah. All it of helps that. shrink down pore size. It helps cellular renewal, fine lines and wrinkles. And we always talk about this too. Like the pores, you know, are the outside of the follicular osteo the, or the pore. When it cinches down, it cinches down the pore size by, you know, it's almost like a purse string mm -hmm. sinking, cinching down those pores. And that's what uh, the retinol, you know, the yeah. retinol does. And so, yeah, I put my heart and soul into this delivery mechanism and formulating in a way because it's just, it's, you know, it's annoying to not be able to use a vitamin A derivative without irritation. Exactly. And that takes a lot. And you yeah. don't want to, at the expense of not having it work as well, mm -hmm. not cause irritation. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which I think is why some people <laughs> like, go to the drugstore or yeah. something and get a retinol. Yeah. Those do not have a delivery no. system. Those are not Basically, doing anything. Basically, what they're doing is they're staying outside in the extracellular space yeah. and recruiting all your inflammatory cells, your immune cells, to come be irritated. And that's what causes all the blood flow to come, the oh, redness, yeah. the dryness, the peeliness. That's why you get that. That means it's outside in the extracellular space. It's not inside. So what, the it, cell that's how you know if work. it's actually working. Is yeah, if, if like, you, get back to work, get exactly. in the cell, and stop causing all this inflammation <laughs> and get the gene transcription to increase your cellular renewal and your collagen synthesis. Right. But that's actually really, really, <laughs> really interesting and really good to yeah. know because a yeah. lot of people think that like you want to see flaking and you want to no. see peeling, but you actually don't. Right. It's yeah. not like the more you, it's not like at the gym, the more sore you get, the more, you know, mm -hmm. not like the more flaky, okay. yeah. the better. No, no, no. And that's, and I, and patients, you know, I struggle with that with patients too, because they always want to be on the most highest percent or they want to yeah. be on like Tazerac or they oh want to be on, God. there's no, yeah, there's no need. You don't get um, more of a benefit when you get more irritation. Yeah, the exactly. Key, the key balance is to have an elegant formulation that's going to give you the, the results you want with, you know, diminished fine lines and wrinkles and tightening of the skin, tightening of the pores, and all the great benefits without the without irritation. Without the irritation. Yeah, but it yeah. takes a lot of elegant formulation yeah. to do that. And that's what's so interesting to me, though, because Retin-A, I mean, it's been around forever, yeah. but I feel like the like the formulation could be updated. Definitely. You know? That's, and that's the thing. And that's yeah. the reason why it was actually this formulation that really wanted, I heard the scientific lecture, like at our academy meetings, they have like, you know, thousands of people and dermatologists at these meetings, and there's always different forms in different rooms, and there's like the Botox talks room and the laser room and I'm like I got that I don't need to go to this I always go to the super nerdy scientific lecture hall <laughs> yeah. and I heard the scientists speak about the vehicle delivery systems on this and I'm like why are why don't I have that in my eyes here? How long do I have to wait for the skincare lines to yeah. come out with this? And he's like, oh, it's about four or five years before the industry will catch on and they'll become mainstream. I'm like, I can't wait that long. I need <laughs> this in my eyes here and tomorrow. I'm like, let me have your email address. And like, you know, I just really yeah. wanted to formulate because knowing the technology and having your finger on the pulse and like having to wait for it, I'm like, I wanted to take it directly from the science labs to my patients. Yeah, exactly. And to my skin. Yeah, exactly. And for myself and for Brianna and for everybody. <laughs> like, we're not going to wait here anymore. I'm going to be the middleman. Cut out all this. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So totally. That's, that's what I love. Yeah. So me and stuff like, we like yeah we use products that were like no this is what we want yeah, like this is, this what, is what I want mix yeah. this with this yeah no <laughs> exactly. but it's like yeah and that's why I call it translational skincare because translational by medical definition is going from like bench work which is in the research labs to like products for consumers yeah yeah so I, love I love so it I love so that is Air MD kind of yeah. in like a nutshell yeah. I mean honestly the products are truly like Good. next level the formulations are amazing technology is amazing you guys know I'm always like I am yeah. literally probably like a broker record I'm like formulation no, delivery for sure. system like a that is what's percent. key you know yeah, so that's why we're besties yeah exactly <laughs> we have the same priorities we do yeah definitely but that's like yeah. that's what's so important and her products like I said I'm Yay. not just talking about them because she's my best right, friend like true. I am like literally like 
I was like, I was telling you, like, feedback even when you were making them and stuff. I was like, oh my God, like, this is really nice. And I wouldn't, and I wouldn't want you to if your heart wasn't. Yeah. I I think that that's why, you know, it's, it's, you always, you were always like, Brie, try this. Like, give me like your honest feedback and stuff. Like, we would like play back and forth and stuff. Like, yeah. And these are like bomb, you guys. So. And it's like light years ahead of everyone. So just everybody will catch on someday. Yeah, I know. Seriously, (laughs) though. Yeah. I know. I've even like talked to other, you know, like other um, product lines and stuff. They're like, oh, wow, you know, with this. And it's, it's important to share information and just, you know, always staying ahead of technology, it's good because then, it, you know, they say a rising tide raises all ships and yeah. maybe other people catch on and hop on the vehicle delivery mm-hmm. system and we'll have even better products and the, the brand will continue to evolve. I'm still going to my scientific meetings, yeah. you know, still continuing medical education and as, as these discoveries are made, I'm going to incorporate this into this brand. I know, I love passion. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So awesome. Keep up the delay. Yes, I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So these are all available on skintruth.com mm-hmm. so we will link them down below for you. I will link... Yeah. Uh, Steph's Instagram down below. You can follow her because she always gives like yeah. like awesome like knowledge and stuff on her stories Aww. and all that. So thank you guys, right, you guys so much for watching. We're actually going to film another video. So Ooh, stay tuned. Okay, yeah, good. so we'll see you in our next one. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Bye.